Thank you, Martha. Uh, on a day when we celebrate the library's longstanding relationship with the McGregor Fund of Detroit, I would like to formally recognize a good friend and one of our most important benefactors. Albert H. Small cannot be with us today, but it's worth noting that we wouldn't even be here in this place without him. I still think of this building as the new library, uh, but we opened to the public over 10 years ago. More than 40 years ago, the university dreamed of and made plans for a facility befitting its world-leading special collections. Then we worked, and we waited, and we waited. Many people and many donors, including some of you in this audience, were central to making this long-standing dream come true. None was more important than Albert Small. Through his creativity and through remarkable partnerships with the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, of which he was a member, former UVA President John Castine, and former University Librarian Karin Wittenberg, who we're all happy here to see here today. Albert led the effort to build this library. He helped imagine and shape it, down to what shape, the, what uh, rake the roof should be in, how steep it should be. He gave generous, generously to its construction, and he capped off his philanthropy by donating his unrivaled Declaration of Independence collection, a treasure-filled gathering of documents that founded this nation on view just outside this auditorium. Tens of thousands of scholars, students, and visitors from Montana to Mongolia, and I'm not exaggerating, uh, have benefited from Albert's foresight, leadership, and generosity. And so today, on his 90th birthday, may I ask you all to offer him our gratitude and best wishes. Thank you, and thank you to Albert, who will see a video of this. We'll have a poster also for Albert's friends to sign during our reception, and make any note you want. We'd appreciate it. To introduce our McGregor lecturer this evening, please welcome Paul Halliday, Julian Bishko, Professor of History and Professor of Law, Chair of the Corcoran Department of History at UVA, one of the nation's most prominent scholars of legal